Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the situation for the complex number. So given a complex number where we have the z is equals to 3 minus i and the w is equals to negative 1, negative 2, i. A, find z over w in the form of a plus bi where the a and b are real number. Hence, find the polar form for the situation z over w. Kindly substitute the z and w into the situation. So where we have z over w is equals to 3 minus i over negative 1, negative 2i. So the question asks us to express the situation in the form of a plus bi. So meaning that we need to rationalize the denominator by multiply with the conjugate. So where we have the conjugate is focus on the imaginary part, meaning that you have to change the sign of the imaginary part. And we will have the conjugate negative 1 plus 2i over negative 1 plus 2i. Next is to expand the situation where we will have negative 3 plus 6i plus i plus 2 over for the denominator if we are having the situation a plus bi multiply with a minus bi so meaning that the multiplication of the conjugate to each other and we will obtain the formula which is a squared plus b squared so for this case the a is negative 1 so meaning that if we square the situation and we will obtain 1. As for b, the value is negative 2 or 2. If we square the 2 and we will obtain plus 4. Simplify the situation and we will have negative 1 plus 7i over 5. So express the situation in the form of a plus bi, meaning that we have real part and imaginary part. As a conclusion, z over w is equals to negative 1 over 5 plus 7i over 5. Kindly focus on the part b. Hence, find the polar form for the situation z over w. Or we may say negative 1 over 5 plus 7i over 5. So step number one kindly refers to the diagram and we need to determine the location of the situation z over w where we have negative 5 meaning that which is on the left and plus 7i over 5 meaning that we will have the situation in the second quadrant. So next we are going to find the modulus of z over w where we will have square root of a squared where we have negative 1 over 5 bracket square plus bracket 7 over 5 squared. So equals to square root of we will have 1 over 25 plus 49 over 25. So if we sum up and we will have 50 over 25 and finally we have square root of 2 for the modulus of z over w. Next we are going to find the alpha. So where we have tangent alpha is equals to y over x where we have 7 over 5 over 1 over 5. I do remember to ignore the sign of negative. So tangent alpha is equal to 7. By using the calculator, find the basic angle where we have the alpha is equal to 81.87 basic angle. So in here, where we have the basic angle alpha and then in order to determine the argument of z where we have the situation 
must be start from zero. So here is the argument of z. So the argument of z is equals to 180 degree minus the basic angle where we have 81.87. So the argument of z is equals to 98.13. So if we convert the situation into a radian, so the argument of z we need to multiply with the pi over 180 degree. So finally, we will obtain 0 0.545 pi radian for the argument of z. So for the polar form for z over w, it would be z over w is equals to square root of 2 multiply with cos bracket the angle 0 0.545 pi plus i sine bracket 0 0.545 pi so for further discussion you may refer the link at the description or kindly click the link at the screen thank you so much for watching this video if you think the video is useful kindly consider to like comment share and subscribe